In this video, you'll learn how to print your first label in eShip. We'll cover what you need to get started, how to install and set up the print app, some of the different ways to print labels, and more. A couple of notes before we proceed. Before you create and print labels, ensure you've completed the following steps. First, set up your carrier product in eShip, and validate the shipping addresses for the orders you wish to print labels for. You can check the links in the video description for more information on these steps. In this section, we're going to go over how to set up the print application for Windows and Mac so you can print labels and documentation directly to your printer. A note on printing labels. While the print app is the fastest way to print labels, especially if you're using a label printer, you can also download labels as PDFs and print them out using any sort of printer you've got. First, you'll need to download the application. We'll start with how to do this on macOS. In macOS, from the eShip web app, go to Settings, Printing, then click Download Starship at Print App for Mac. Double click the .dmg file to open. Drag the icon into your Applications folder to install. Launch the app from the Applications folder. Sometimes a window will pop up to say the developer cannot be verified. In this case, hold Command on your keyboard, select Open, and the Open option will become available. In Windows, from the eShip app, go to Settings, Printing, then click Download Starship at Print App. Double click on the downloaded.exe file and follow the instructions to install. Now let's set up the Print App. Make sure your printer is already connected to your computer. After launching the app, enter the six digit code found on the printing page in the eShip web app. Select the printer that you would like to use for printing shipping labels from the drop down list. After doing this, the print client will automatically minimize. Now, let's open the print client. On Windows, open the print client from the system tray. On Mac, open the print client from the system menu bar. Check that your account details are correct and that the status in the bottom right says connected. This means the print client has been configured successfully. To assign labels to a printer, click Printers. Under the label type, choose a label to assign. Then, Click Printer Name to choose a printer. Click Assign. Now we'll need to configure how to print each label type. Click Printing, then Advanced. Click Settings next to a label type and choose the print method. Click Save. We'll now show you how to print your first label. To print individual orders, simply go to the Orders screen and click the checkbox next to the order you wish to print. Then click the print button in the top right and select print shipping label. Or to amend any order details or courier product selection prior to printing a label, select the order from the order screen, make your changes, then click print. A tracking number will be generated and your order will move from the new tab to the printed tab. If you selected download, your PDF can be found in the downloads bar in your browser or in your downloads folder. You can use eShip's bulk print feature to print multiple labels for orders. From the Orders screen, you can select multiple orders using the checkboxes on the left. To print the labels, just click Print Shipping Labels at the top of the Orders screen. And that's how to print your first label using eShip. Check out the links in the video description for more helpful tips and tutorials. And follow our YouTube channel to get notified when our videos release. Happy shipping!